this on the side. Okay. Hi, and welcome to Book Talk with Lainey, because we talk about books, and I'm Lainey. I hope y'all had a happy new year. Um, happy Christmas, happy holidays. I haven't posted in a while, and that is simply because I'm very inconsistent with posting due to, like, this is all a side thing for me. I'm still in college. I'm getting my degree. I'm doing this, you know, partially. I am very active on TikTok and keeping up my posting, but I haven't quite figured out how to maintain my posting schedule on here, so bear with me. I'm very sorry, but like I said, I just do this on the side and I try to pre-record, like, up front so I have something to post, but it's not always possible, but I'm trying my best. Um, anyway, we have now officially, uh, we've been in 2024 for eight days now when I'm recording this, but you get what I mean, we've been in 2024 and I thought I'd share with you all the books I DNF'd in 2023. I'm a very, very pro DNFer. I'm like, why would you push yourself? Listen, I'm a person, if I don't like the book after like 20 pages, I'm gonna leave it at that because why would I bother, you know? And I also have a very strong belief system that people who try to push themselves reading the book ends up putting them into a reading slump because they just want to add it into their reading goal. Whatever, that's a different story. But I'm a very pro DNF'er, so for 2024, DNF those books, babe. Really, do. It's n not worth it. I'm going to show all the books I DNF'd and why I DNF'd them. And it's quite a few, not going to lie. I thought it wasn't that many, but it's actually quite quite the pile. I'm gonna go through them. And then also, if I DNF'd your favorite, it's nothing against you. Don't hate on me. And I'm not hating on you because who the fuck am I to hate on your favorite? You're not. So, self forget funds. And there may be some emotions that will be released here because some of these books, uh, honestly, no clue. <laughs> Jesus. I really hope I'm not gonna drop them again. Like, the last few times I tried to do a thumbnail. <laughs> These are... Oh my god, oh my god, it's gonna drop. These are all the books I dnf this year. Let's go through them. These are not in any particular order because I don't remember. They're just the ones that I grabbed first. They're just all from 2023. That's all you need to know. But let's go. They're primed. There's, like different types of DNFing for me. The first one is, why the fuck did I pick this up? Why didn't I stop this sooner? This is just a waste of money. The second one is, not in the mood right now. Um, didn't pick my interest in the first 20 pages, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And then there is a third group that I start reading the book. Um, I'm really kinda into it, not 100%, but I'm kinda into it. And then I simply forget because I pick up another book and then it ends up on the DNF pile. Who the hell cares? I said I'm not going in order, but I think this was one of the first books I DNF'd, and I, I don't wanna go too much into it because I already have made a few videos on this book. That I have a really hate relationship with this book. Um, this is Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Now, this is not a hate against the author at all. I don't give a fuck about the authors, you know? Um, but this book, oh my god, enrages me. This book is about a little thief taking, um, I don't even fucking know. Should have done my research. But I don't want to. But it's about a little thief taking on the, um, persona or, like, the identity of someone else. Um, and it's, it's played in Germany. It's like a retelling of the goose, golden goose, something like that. I have no fucking clue. But anyway, I hate this book and I DNF'd it because simply, as somebody who speaks German, okay, I am not German, but I do speak German. I don't know who approved of the translation, but you didn't do a very good job. You can see that I annotated it, but simply because the things that I did, I like annotated and tabbed are the wrong translations of German. And me and my friends had a quite the big laugh because we, we couldn't stop laughing at this book. Because honestly, if you, if you do a book, a retelling, or do incorporate a language, maybe 
consult with someone who does speak the language. That's just a, a, my opinion. So this one was a DNF because I couldn't keep in my laughter. I was annoyed. I, I have a hate relationship. I do not like this book. So this one was a book that I DNF'd because after about 130 pages, I couldn't take it anymore. So yeah, that's why I DNF'd it. I'm also not gonna rate books I DNF'd because they're not worth my time. Ow. This one may be a controversial one, but just hear me out. Also, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that I'm never gonna reread these again. Like if I, maybe I'm gonna start them because there are some books that I have DNF'd in the past and then I read them again this year and I ended up loving them. So, you know, but a book that I DNF'd was The Poppy War by RF Kuang. And simply because it wasn't my cup of tea. Maybe it was also because the beginning was very slow paced. I'm giving this book another chance this year. I'm, this is the only reason, like, like I said, sometimes I DNF books really easily if I don't get into it by the first 20 pages. And that was the case with this one. Not because I didn't like it or anything. It's it just maybe wrong, right book, wrong time. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe I wasn't in the mood for it and I haven't picked it up since, but I'm gonna try and read this again this year. But that's the only reason why I DNF'd it. So that's a lot of books that I DNF'd are simply because I wasn't feeling it in the first 20 pages. That's my mindset, you know? It's for this one, The Book Thief. I was really into this book, but then I picked up another book and I simply forgot and never reopened this again. Am I ever gonna start reading it again? I don't know. But that's the reason why I DNF'd this book. Simply because it was an accidental DNF. You know what I mean? Do you guys have that? Because that happens to me a lot that I kind of accidentally DNF books. This one kind of goes into the second tier. I was really excited to read this because I loved the back and I loved the premise, but it just couldn't keep my attention. And after nine pages, I call it quits. That's why I DNF'd it. It's um, Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Myro. And I think this idea is really good. I just couldn't be bothered. Um, I'm taking both of these, both of Stephen King. Um, first one is The Shining and the other one is Fairy Tale. Now, I think this one may actually be, I'm not sure, I think this was the first book I DNF'd all of 2023. And honestly, I think I get, I gave, I have a few of his books and all Stephen King books end up the same. I'm really into it up until half, half of it. I literally read half of this and almost half of this. I'm really into it and then it just gets so boring because it's repetitive it's like it's just strings along and then i get disinterested i leave it i go into a reading slump it kind of always every time I, I when i read this i ended up in a reading slump then i read this ended up in a reading slump so i think i'm just not gonna read stephen king books from now on because i, I literally read half of it so that's why I DNF these because it kind of happened into I picked up another book and then I couldn't be bothered but I also wasn't really interested. That's why I DNF both of these. Um, now a book that I DNF Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Mori. I DNF this simply because I'm not into sci-fi. Okay, that's plain and simple. I'm not into sci-fi. Every time there's some kind of electronics, I'm not interested. And I did know what I was getting into it when I bought this, but I just, I simply realized I, I'm not into sci-fi. I, I couldn't be like, I couldn't put myself into reading this. That's why I DNF'd it. I read like 90 pages. Let's not hate it against this book. I'm just not into sci-fi, you know? This might be a controversial one and it's not that I don't want to read it and it's not hate against this book. It's just The Secret History by Donna Tart. And I think I would love this book. I, I know I can claim it, Future me, if you're ever gonna read this, I'm gonna claim it's gonna be your favorite book. But I'm terrified of this book. And I've started it like three times. I've read the first 50 pages about three times. But I can't get into it. I can't get into it because it's, this is such an, an illusion because this book seems like it has like about 300 pages, but it has like 700 and it's fucking weird. So I'm still, I still want to read this, but I can't get into it. Outer of No Worlds by Carissa Broppin. Now, I read this book, but I didn't have the series. Simply because I couldn't get into this book. I was so bored. I couldn't, I swear to God, but I'm giving it another chance. I'm going to reread this because I, I think I also simply forgot what it was about because I kind of, I, I listened to the audiobook after like half uh, because I was so bored. And I kind of blended it out, honestly, no clue. Um, so I'm gonna read this again. But this is a book, a book series that I DNF'd. Classic is on this list, actually. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Who am I to fucking judge classic literature 
but it's not made for me okay i couldn't oh my god maybe it's because i have adhd but oh my god i envy people who can read classics because it's like torture <laughs> jesus christ i'm not i'm not hating on the book or the people who read it i'm so jealous but i can't i can't oh my god it's so boring the only classic that i've ever finished reading was frankenstein and i enjoyed that that's the only one i have so many classics but i can't I, oh my god it's like pain into my brain because i can't read it it's so boring but that's why i dnf'd it i really tried I got into about 90 pages and then I just left it at that. Not because it's not a good book, clearly, because it's a fucking classic. And I'm just, I'm not uneducated. I'm just not the right person. I can't, I don't know. I, somebody tell me how to get into classics. I really want to, but they're like needles into my brain. I don't know how you guys do it. Um, another book and Shatter Me by... Tahiri Mafi. Listen, I don't know who the fuck keeps gunpoint at you guys, but this is not a good book. Oh my god. Listen, I I, I read like a few pages of, of this back when I first bought it years ago, and I never got into it. Then I saw one TikTok that really caught my attention. I thought, oh my god, maybe I should read this. I read, oh my god, it says a lot that I read almost half of this book in 30 minutes in a train ride to college. That's how bad this book is, okay? I, I'm gonna be, listen, nothing against the author, obviously, but this is not a good book. This seems like a fucking Wattpad story and nothing about Wattpad authors, okay? We love you, we stand you. But I feel like I've read this when I was like 12 on there, okay? I'm gonna leave it at that because that's not a good book. I don't know what, what you guys read, but I the book I read was not good. Kingdom of the Wicked, but I was simply bored. I was bored after 33 pages, but I'm maybe gonna pick it up again because I really wanna read Throne of the Fallen, but I'm, I'm, I, I, I was told I don't have to read both, like the entire trilogy, but I kinda want to. We'll see, but that's why I DNF'd it. It was boring, not gonna lie. Um, another book that I happened to DNF by accident the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I was so into this book. I was really into it. I'm, I'm probably gonna finish it actually. On page 115. Um, I just happened to pick up another book. I think I was reading this book and then Gold by Raven Kennedy came out and I kind of forgot about it and never picked it up again. So I'm definitely gonna finish the book. But this was a, like an accidental DNF. Um, maybe also a controversial one. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This is just not the book for me, and that's fine. I, I was just not into it. Maybe I'll give it another go. I really like the cover, so maybe. Also by Lee Bardugo. Listen, I have nothing against Lee Bardugo. I think she's an amazing human being, and she's very, very talented. She's just not the author for me. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> Six of crows. <laughs> um... Listen, I read the first book, didn't feel it at all, and I probably am never gonna read Cricket Kingdom. I thought I was gonna like this, maybe I'm gonna reread it, probably not, but I'm, I'm trying to be nice. Um, just not for me. I, I don't know why, it's just not for me, but that. Um, I read this book, All of Us Villains. I read this book, I'm not gonna read the second book because what... Y'all hyped this up, and it was so disappointing. <laughs> DNFing the series, you know. I DNFed so many books. Oh my god, I forgot about these. This is also a book I DNFed. Um, the Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Um, this was just a book I, I read 59 pages of it. Oh my god, that's a cool bookmark. But um, couldn't be bothered. Wasn't into it. Maybe I'm gonna pick it up again. Gilded by Marissa Mayer. This. I don't know why I DNF'd. I, I think I just completely forgot about it because there were so many other books I really wanted to read. But I'm gonna pick this up again this year. From Blood and Ash by Jennifer Al Armentrude. I don't know what to say. I really wanna be part of the con- I have a lot of FOMO from Book Talk because I really wanna be part of the conversation. Probably won't be part of the conversation because I don't know. But I also heard like there's like a lot of hate about this book accidentally dnf because i couldn't get into it um was the witch's heart but i don't know i just i couldn't get into it and then halloween was over and then i was already somewhere else with my headspace so these are the books i dnf damn
It was like more than I thought. Yeah, I know I DNF a lot. And funny enough, I still have read 102 books in 2023. You know what I mean? I just, I'm very pro DNFing, so maybe you should, you guys should try that as well. <laughs> um, how many books were those? Give me a sec. I DNF 19 books in 2023. I don't know if that's a lot to you guys. To me, it's pretty normal because, like I said, I DNF pretty easily. These are all the books I DNF'd in 2023. I cannot promise, I'm not gonna change in 20, I'm not gonna not DNF books because it's just how I am. And I think that's totally cool. Have you guys DNF'd any books? Are you pro or anti-DNFing? I'm very, very much pro, if you haven't realized. <laughs> anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, follow if not that's cool we're chill i'm gonna try keeping up posting and filming in advance but no promises made follow my tiktok i'm very active on there lindy's book chaos same handle as here also my instagram um let me know what you guys if you if you dnf any of these books if you loved any of these books all chill i just want to know about your opinion maybe i'm gonna give it another chance if we can have a civil conversation you're invited to give your opinion anyway I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.